Hi, this is Eli Kranzberg from Production Expert, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the new Sound ID reference from Sonarworks. If you're a Reference 4 user, there's a lot to love in this upgrade. Now, to start, it's really easy to choose what you want this to affect. This is what used to be the system-wide window. We just click here to add the outputs, and I'm going to add my main interface, which is Universal Audio Apollo. And you can use the play a test tone just to make sure you have the left and right monitors connected properly. And you can, of course, select from any of your outputs here. And I'm just going to go add output, and that's now in the list. Now, if you've already got your calibration done, we can simply call it up from here. So here are some of my existing ones, but I'm going to go open an existing profile just to show you how to get to it. And here you can see the pathway that it's in my user folder, library, Sonarworks, sound ID reference, and Sonarworks projects, which was copied from my reference for installation. So here I can select from my existing profiles, and I've already measured my EVE SC207 monitor, so I'm going to select those. And I'm just going to close this. So now it's calibrated for system use. So I'm all set up to monitor through my monitors, but sometimes I like plugging headphones into my Apollo to monitor through that. Well, I can add presets, manage them from here really easily. So I'm adding a new preset, and from the calibration profile, I'm going to choose one of my headphones. It's in my recent list, but let's say you haven't added it yet. Add a new headphone profile. There's a really intuitive search feature here. I'm going to go for Audio-Technica. And these are the ones that I like to use. And they're wired. So now I have these two profiles. And if I'm monitoring through my monitors, I just click there. And if I want to plug my headphones in, switch there. And I can create another one for an additional pair of headphones that I have, the 40X. And you can have as many as you want and easily switch between them. Now, another great new feature with Sound ID Reference is Translation Check, where we can emulate the response curve in different physical spaces. So if I click here, for example... I can click on different car setups to get response curves based on car measurements or in-ear headphones, laptops, smartphones, studio speakers, televisions, and so on. So let's say I click that one. I can now easily check my mix on what it would be like based on this calibration for a car and then switch back to my, in this case, headphone reference or my monitor reference. Now, another really nice feature is the ability to customize the response curve. So the calibration's done, but maybe I'm mixing some dance music and I want to have a slight boost on the low end. I can do that, or I want it a bit brighter on the top. It's great. And we have user presets we can name and save. So for example, I'm going to click here and I could name this low and high boost. And then I want to create another one. So let me create a new one. And I've got a new flat one to start with. And we can do shelving EQ, but it's fully parametric. So maybe, for example, if you have a bit of a hearing loss and you want to compensate, you can adjust here and you can adjust by dragging or numerically. Maybe 4K gentle boost. And you can even adjust the Q. And you can do quick and easy A-B comparisons with and without the changes by simply toggling back to your flat reference curve. So there's lots of interesting ways to use the custom target EQs. Reference ID has upped the game and made it even more invisible and seamless to use monitor and headphone calibration within your DAW. Gone are the days from Reference 4 when we had to put a plug-in on the main output and then remember to bypass it before we bounce. Now we can simply set the audio driver to route, instead of going to your interface, have it go to sound reference, and it'll automatically be monitored through your system reference settings. So you don't need to remember to insert and then bypass a specific plugin. It's just always there in place. So if you're a Reference 4 user, there's a lot to love in this update. And if you're new to monitor and headphone calibration, now's the time to get into the game. It's never been more seamless and invisible and less invasive to adapt and get used to it. This is Eli Kranzberg for Production Expert.